What's up everybody? Brett here, back today bringing you a fun new game for the channel. Something that just released yesterday, as of the time of recording. It's Parkosaurus. So think like Jurassic Park meets Roller Coaster Tycoon, which is one of my favorite games from my childhood, I have to say. But this game is great. I've been keeping my eye on it for years. It's been an early access. They've been tweaking it. I've seen other really big YouTubers play this and, and drop it. I have waited until it has left early access. And I have to tell you, I was playing a little bit yesterday with a buddy of mine, trying to get a feel for the controls, doing the tutorial. And this game is awesome, guys. So I'm going to take a second here to read the kind of like the Steam blurb here, excerpt. Because they're going to explain what this game is better than I can. It says, Parkosaurus is a dinosaur zoo construction and management simulation video game developed by Wash Bear Studio. And it had entered early access on September 25th, 2018. It's already been that long. Jeez. And the player is tasked to create a dinosaur zoo by building and designing dinosaur exhibits. It's a fun game, and I love the aesthetic. Look at these cute little dinosaur guys who are going to be helping us out throughout our playthrough. So what are we going to do first? We're going to go back to the world map, and I've decided to just go ahead and do the tutorial again with you guys watching. Because I didn't know if it was boring, I didn't know if it was very, all that informative, but it turns out it is. And this game has all the mechanics, y'all. It has like everything. Everything I could possibly want out of a out of a building simulation style game. There's so much customization that we have available to us. I'm going to reset this. Yeah, let's reset it. And we'll do it ourselves. Um, you'll notice there I had one of these rocket ships. And that allowed me to get these like ship repair points. Which in turn give you different types of bonuses. So there's, you have incentive to not only do these parks but also to do them well. So today's episode is just going to be focused on the tutorial. It takes a hot second. And of course, I'm doing a lot of narration. Uh, but we're going to go through this. You'll learn the mechanics kind of alongside me again. And from there, the world is our oyster. We could go to any of these continents and start our own little park. Some of them are locked. They're probably going to want us to do some more basic stuff first off. But I just, I just love the aesthetic of this game. It's so cute. All right, dinosaurs on spaceships makes sense. Have you guys ever seen We're Back? That's exactly what this reminds me of. I've been trying to think of this whole time what this game reminds me of. Look that up. I could probably edit in like a picture or something. Just look up We're Back. It's too good. All right, all right. Commander Ollie here. It's nice to meet you, human. Welcome to your first dinosaur park. I'll be looking into ways we can enhance the well-being of our dinosaur friends. This looks like a big empty area to set up our dinosaur park. There's quite a lot of garbage around, but every great dinosaur park has to start somewhere. But first things first, navigating around your park is easy and important. Let's give it a try. You got it, Ollie. Alright, so it's going to make me, you know, do some stuff. We're going to use like WASD and all. Use the mouse wheel, got it. X and C also work. Q and E to rotate. Hell yeah. Easy mode. Cameras. Achieved. Alright, next up. Who's this guy? Luca? Science Officer Luca reporting for duty. It's almost time to meet your first dinosaur. I'm excited to see how their biological systems function in this atmosphere. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Commander Ollie said we should set up an exhibit first. Exhibits are where your dinosaurs live. You design exhibits to match your dino's needs and increase dino happiness. For now, let's create a simple exhibit for your first dino. Select the wood fence to build an exhibit. Okay, so it's going to give us a little menu here. There we go. And this is how we build everything. So we're going to start with, it has low strength, low privacy. And it's probably just used for basic dinosaurs. And it gave us a nice outline to build. And you can see... How nice that is. So it even gives us the square footage, which is pretty cool. So click on fences and doors. Come here to doors. And let us make a dino door here. Boom. That looks like center, right? Looks like center to me. All right, Pax, the other, the other helpful dino. I piloted the crash ship into your planet. Your money is very shiny. We should really be collecting as much of this stuff as possible. I invented a way to collect these coins and bins called donation boxes. Very forward thinking, Pax. Let's get a donation box. Let's put it next to the gate. There 
And there we go. Let's get your first dinosaur. This is very exciting for everyone involved from Ollie. You know what? In honor of you, Ollie, we're going to get a Stegosaurus. We'll go into our backpack, which is where we keep our stuff. We're going to have lots of stuff eventually. And let us place down our first egg. This is going swimmingly. Town is a great place to buy food, accessories for your dinos, or get loans. You can visit town anytime during the day, even at nighttime. Thank you, Max. So, once again, there's guys, there's a ton of stuff in this game. Uh, as we learn together, we're going to become quite proficient at using everything. So, we can buy vegetables, meat for our meat-eating dinosaurs, eggs, hats, probably the most important part of the game. Uh, bank here for loans, and then gems, which I'm sure we'll get into at some point. So for now, it says click on town at the top of the screen, click on the vegetable store, and purchase six plants with the buy now button. Four, five, six, good to go. And we can add a daily order here, that way we don't need to do that again. Alright, so let's go back to our park and build a vegetable feeder. There are many different types of dino feeders. Upgrading and researching new dino feeders give various bonuses to your dinos. Your new dino is a vegetarian, so let's get a vegetarian feeder. All right. Place one of those down. Put it kind of close. Like at the zoo, some dino, some of the, uh, in real life zoos rather, they put a lot of the feeders in the back so that the animals can eat in privacy, and they put like some like treats and stuff in the front to encourage the animals to hang out near the front so that people can look at them. So that's kind of what I'm thinking there. Caring for your dino best friends is a lot of work. Employees are a great help by doing many of the tasks in the park. Veterinarians are the primary caregivers for your dinos. Let's hire a veterinarian. A veterinarian. Alright, we'll go here into resumes. Okay, we got this gentleman here. I'm looking at the prices and I'm looking at all of their different stats. So you have to assume that he's level 2 already. That might be a good deal. This dude has six speed. That's insane. She is very well rounded. What a hair beard combo. Two different colors. I'm sorry, you're a little too you're a little too strange for my team. Let's go ahead and just hire this person. Work ethic employees automatically find tasks to do in the park. You can assign the task of your employees. Got it. All right, let's go back to our park. And what are we doing? Go to your park and build things? No, we're just waiting for the egg to hatch at this point. Click on it, and we got a little baby. Let's look at him. It's Gulliver. Okay, exhibit, exhibit pane. The exhibit pane is a great tool to inspect the type of biome and biodiversity in your exhibit. Every dino species has a particular biome they prefer to live in. You can create a biome in your exhibit by first placing a base tile and then morph the biome by modifying the wetness and terrain. Alright, so there's a lot of different modifiers here we're going to look at as we go to change his little fenced-in area. I kind of want to look at him for a second though. He's cute. And we can see all of his different stats here. We've got privacy. The exhibit's not very good. He's sort of hungry. Okay. We could double click and that'll show us what we need to see. Drag grass tiles across your exhibit to create a forest biome. So we'll come into here, go to grass. You see here it says it matches up forest, rainforest, or taiga biomes. So all this stuff costs money. Let's just spread this out like so. And just like that, we now have the forest biome. And you can see it right here in this little chart where we are with that. So now we need to add water, a certain amount of water will give us the correct amount of wetness, and that will also help it to transform. Alright, what do we want to do? Let's give him like a little lake in the back here. Give it a little character. You know. Something like that. Looks like a little like a uh, dinosaur paw print. Do something like this. There we go. We just barely made it into rainforest territory. I like that. Not bad. We're going to keep it pretty simple here in the beginning. But once we get into our own park, we can make different crazy shapes and, and depths and things. It's going to be cool. Every biome has an ideal ratio of trees to bushes to rocks. The ratio is called the exhibit biodiversity. It's down here. And contributes to your dinosaur's exhibit score. 
Trees, bushes, and rocks can only live in particular biomes. Note that trees and bushes often need to be near water sources. So that's good to know. So what we would do is we would come here to scenery and we can see what matches up. It's color coded. So like this goes with swamp, tundra, and alpine, desert, prairie, and savanna, and so on. Okay. So it wants us to put some pine trees down. I'm cool to do that. Oh, wow. That dug out quite a bit for us there. Get some nice trees. Could probably put some here. I don't know how much that'll help his privacy. That's good. It's not too far away from water. Good. And let's make some little berry bushes. Something like that, maybe. Oh no, what happened? Why are you crying, buddy? He's very unhappy. So we filled out the bushes, but we messed up the trees, it looks like, somehow. This is kind of cool. Get one of those bad boys there. We need more biodiversity, do we? Just go for more pine trees, I guess. Pine large. Oh, Jesus. That'll be for the brontosauruses, no doubt. Just get one in each corner, maybe. Alright, we're good on that. Now we need to build rocks. So, we've got the basalt they want us to build. Um, sure. We'll just make, like, a little outcropping here. That looks kind of weird. Can't really control how it looks, I guess. But that's enough rocks. We didn't need a ton of rocks. But biodiversity is solid. It's now in forest territory. So we probably need to make more water. If he is in fact a rainforest dinosaur. Let's see how that works. Placing some of those trees sort of messed us up. And there we go. Now he's happy again. Let's just put a little bit of extra water perhaps. To make sure we don't accidentally mess that up again. Now we have to open the park. So we come down here, we click on the admissions booth, and we just hit open. And we can customize the look, the color. I like that a lot. All the different buildings you make have the ability to customize the colors. A janitor is a key member of your park staff. A janitor can repair fences, pick up garbage, empty toilets, and more. A janitor automatically does tasks around the park, such as picking up garbage. So let's go ahead and hire one of those bad boys. Back to the resumes. You can see here we have a calendar, a medicine chart, a dinosaur encyclopedia, dinopedia, a dino book, and park info. All in this one little menu. Let's go to Janitors. Crompterhoof. Man, I might have to hire you just for that name. We've got uh we've got Rick here from Rick and Morty. Pincy. Let's get Crompterhoof. What a name. You're in Crompterhoof. Now we have to watch them clean garbage. And then it's gonna show us how, just like in um just like in Roller Coaster Tycoon, we can pick up our people and, and direct them, move them around. So boom. Like we want him to do this, we'll pick him up and put him near the garbage. And there he goes. This has been a lot of park training. Let's have guests arrive to the park to make some money. Alright, so as the guests visit, this will slowly tick for us. Um, we have a bunch of money. I mean, we can kind of do stuff if we want. Could go ahead and make another exhibit. How big is this exhibit? 23 so we could do like a 23 by 23 this way Oop, nope nope incorrect I'm assuming it's not 23 square very cool and just like that we made a new exhibit we don't have any extra dinosaurs yet but we're getting there keep it basic and just prepare for whenever uh, they maybe give me the option. Put another one of those down. The park is closing. It gave me an imperfect gym. Nothing has ever gone wrong in a dinosaur park. Especially movies about dinosaur parks. Trust me, just in case, how about we give our security some practice. In case one of your dinosaur best friends decides to adventure outside their exhibit. Learn to tranquilize a dinosaur. So, we're going to have to hire yet another type of character here security 
The guy looks like Ryan Reynolds in uh, Deadpool. So we gained a heart. We've got charts. It's the end of the day. It's going to show us what type of day we had. Where did we spend money? What happened? Let's go on to the next day. And let's go back and hire. Oh, they changed them out on us. All right, you're in. Like the shades. All right, what does it want me to do? Click on a dinosaur, click the request tranquilization button. So we would come here, request tranquilization. And you can also give them medicine from here. You can enter dino cam, which is where you just kind of creep on them a little bit. Does escape cancel? It does. Cool. Security officer's coming. Can I not, like, make this happen? Oh, he's got to go get the package. Okay, so I could bring him closer to the gate and help him to get that faster to come ahead and uh, to do that. So wait, he's picking up... Huh. Tranquilize, please. There we go. He got sidetracked with something else. Probably me clicking him, <laughs> clicking him and picking him up and messing everything up. So he's going to pull out a gun. Tranquilizer gun. And knock him out. I'm assuming if he was a bigger dinosaur, it would be a lot scarier and it would take a long time. So we've got Gulliver here in dinosaur storage. So we can click him, take him down, and let him go. Checks out. Let's explore the world of science. Science credits are used in the science tree to unlock useful upgrades and items for your park. The most common way to generate science credits is to have scientists work at a science building or at a scientist presentation. So we got to build a science building now, which for me means I would like to build some more pathways, perhaps. Something like that. I love symmetry. Can't help myself. It's coming here. The research station is there. We can rotate it, put it here. All right. Generate science credits by placing them on a science node. We can just grab our scientist and put him there. And then he'll make science points for us. But for that, once again, back to the handy dandy resume. And we will recruit a scientist. Let's get the good one. The one that's a little more expensive, but is leveled. Alright. So there's a way to see your employees. There we go. Alright, this is all in the way. Give me that. Where are you? That's the scientist. Okay, nailed it. Over here to the research. And generate 20 science. That'll just take a minute here. I guess while we're waiting, we could um, make some more grass here. I feel like we have time to squeeze in. I think it'll give me an opportunity to get another dinosaur. So we'll start with just like basic forest stuff. Try and make some interesting water features here. Just kind of playing around with it to see how it really works. It's now technically a rainforest. We could always change that. The science has been generated. So now it's going to teach us how to use it. Time to expand the park with more dinosaur best friends. Use the portal to go dig up skulls and footprints to be used in the egg store. Alright, and yet another series of mechanics that's going to be pretty cool. We are looking for Ceratopsia. We're going to open the portal, and those are the things we could find. So select a time period below the time portal to determine what dino parts to dig for, and then use your scientists, and you can use your other characters as well, to help you dig. And they all have their own dig type. Exploring takes a little time, so explore your park and return later. So we have to wait for this to click down, that's okay. But in the meantime, we're, we're planning on getting a triceratops or a, something something in that family so we can just we're gonna need more vegetables 
Let's see, the feeder is here. Place maybe the feeder over in a viscerally direction. And what else do we have? Can't make any of that stuff yet. These are like super buildings. But we can, no doubt, get some rocks. Ooh, that's a big boulder. One in the water there. Check out the biodiversity. That's what I'm interested in. Get some granite, maybe. Kind of sprinkle it around here. I think it looks pretty good. Alright, enough rocks. We got enough rocks. Let's get some of these trees. Some We can try and do some different trees. Large oaks? How large is large? I mean, that's that's pretty dang large. I can't see half the flipping exhibit. Something there. Something there. Get a couple oaks over here in a nice little cluster. Not quite good on trees yet. We need a few more trees. They do cost money. It's not like I can just make as many trees as I want. Make a couple berry bushes. This put me back into forest territory. Make a little hedge here. Kind of like that for there, too. Huh. We're learning together what all these different things look like. Are we done exploring yet? Not quite. In just a minute. But we should be all set to, like, drop down an egg in here. I don't know if the... The dinosaur is going to want it to be a forest or a rainforest. Let's err on the side of rainforest. And now we can start digging. Alright, so I think we click on the scientist here. And you can see how everyone has different abilities to dig. Alright. Boom. Boom. Get that. Very nice. Hmm. I can kind of see some of it. And if I right click, I can rotate it a little bit. That's good to know. Switch out to here. Finish it up. Want to try and get everything I can from here. This is sort of in the way. There we go. Oh wow, there's more. Okay. And we'll use this one to finish. I think it says when there's nothing left, correct? It says there's one oh right, one item left, obviously, duh. Alright, we're done. Zero items left. We got every item that we could get from there. So I guess we could do it again, open another portal while we're waiting. And then we can come in here and get an egg. Let's create. So we have enough ingredients to do it. And we'll grab it. It was the end of the day though. Click down and hold to fill the beaker to unlock science technology in the science center. So this game also has, huh, crazily enough, it has a huge tech tree of stuff that we can unlock. For now, though, smart water. What would be actually useful? Let's maybe go for sous chef. Fill it up. Boom. 
And then we could, if we had more science points, we have 500 right now, 564. Stonehenge, lots of decorations. Just get this. Boom, done. And go for next day. Remember the science credits? What are they good for? Let me tell you. Science credits are used to unlock science technology such as new buildings, upgrades, and perks. Go to the science tree and unlock a science technology. I have done that. Well, I've taught you everything I know about being a good dinosaur park manager. There is much more to explore, but you're on your own to gaining park fame and becoming a great park manager. So now we're just waiting on... Oh god, we need, we need food. Add to daily. Let's buy now a few. Can I see, like, how much food I'm intaking daily? This is medium food quality for dinosaur vegetarians. Food is placed in a feeder by a veterinarian. Huh. I don't see where that... That number is. Four? Oh, got it. Four daily delivery. That's probably more than enough. And then now we would go into our inventory, drop down an egg, and we're waiting for him to hatch. So his favorite biome is Rainforest. So I think we're good here. If we double click, we can see that we actually have a Rainforest. This tree is not close enough to water. Anything else like that in the park? I don't think so. So now we would just chill, and we would... Kind of be part of a busy box, right? We're going to do the portals as soon as they come up. We're watching our science to see how much we have so we can unlock more technologies. We're up to 308 right now. We could, just while we're, you know, playing around, go to buildings. Make some nice street lights or what have you. Rotate them. We could, let's see. Something like that. Yep. Good to go. And what else could we do? We could put some benches down. Quite nice. I like it. Give him an outhouse. We should definitely give him a garbage bin. For the love of God. So our poor janitor can focus on something else with his life. Let us also, let's do, let's see, a path here. We're just messing around, guys. We're almost done. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you want to stick around and see more. Because it's just a good, relaxing time. Oh, what's wrong? Is it too ugly, or are you just hungry? Our expedition has arrived in the portal room, if we wanted to go mess with that. But that is it, y'all. I feel like we hang out until we see the uh, the next dinosaur. Now it wants us to make 500 bucks, which I think we can do. We can go into science, unlock whatever the heck. Info sign and stone science presentation. Interesting. Okay, let's get back out of here. I kind of just want to keep decorating for a little bit. What is this? Info sign? That's what we just unlocked, I suppose. Info sign A. You got to have these, right? They have those at pretty much every zoo you go to. This looks like a cool sign. See, now this is already starting to look like a real park. Get some pretty bushes. Nope, incorrect. How do I delete this? Ugh. I don't know how to delete. Help. Is it alt? Let's see, can I not click on it because it's on this side? Yeah. Let's destroy it. Is it V? Is V destroy? See, we were under buildings, like, beautification. Can I not, like, shift-click drag this? I can't. It doesn't look like I can, anyway. 
But it's just like a nice little decoration touch. So part of the reason I like leaving space in between fences and pathways. Let's see, have we made the money yet? I can't. Can't see it anymore. I have to imagine we have. So I think we're just about done, guys. Change the color of our information center. Make it look however you want it to look. We can have fun with that later on when we're trying to get maybe some sort of themed part going. Come on, Hatch. There we go. There he is. Triceratops friend is the achievement we unlocked. Look how cute. He should be pretty dang happy. His hunger is kind of weird. His privacy looks a little low. Hmm. I wonder exactly how you make his privacy good. It could just be the fence being a little bit weak. But there's a way to check it out. Let's see. It's... If we click on this, we can see appeal. Theme. Huh, there was a way to do it. I discovered it yesterday. That way I could see what the privacy... It, it makes like a, like a chart. Oh, we did it. Tutorial complete. But we can continue playing for a second. There was a couple menus I just wanted to try and find. Go to first person mode. There's an overview. Dinosaurs, guests, exhibits. Buildings, chains, and staff. Water view. Privacy view. There it is. It's the big eye. Yeah, so he kind of looks like he wants to hang out in the green spots. Maybe putting his food, we should have put it like here. To keep it out of that... That privacy zone. You see, we put it far enough back here. It's in the green. It's just a way, something to think about for later. This is ugly, apparently. This is not good, what we've done here. Just too much stuff, I guess. This is all pretty. But... Obviously, I didn't design this part, really. But, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Whenever we return next time, we're going to be in a totally new park. And we're going to be doing stuff for ourselves. Probably no tutorial, just a couple helpful hints. And we're going to be figuring it out on our own. Later, Gulliver. And later, Leonard. And later to you guys, too. If you like this, uh, this game, just let me know. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe. All that good stuff helps me out. I'm a small YouTube channel. And uh, I love playing fun games on the channel, and I hope that you guys enjoy it. So, without any further ado, take care, guys, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Later.